What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS5 video. So in this video we're going to be taking a look at a new payload for the PS5. This is the PFS MNT Dumper by Logic68. As far as I'm aware it's basically just a port of the PS4's app dumper for the PS5. So it will allow you to dump the contents of your App0 and Patch0 directories which gives you all of the game files for the game and the update copied to a USB drive. Now I have shown you how to, you know, back up the, the game files of your PS5 games before using FTP and that method works just fine. However, the only issue with that is that if you're on a Wi-Fi connection, copying a really large game over like all the game files for a 50 plus gigabyte game, is going to take a really long time over Wi-Fi. You really need to have a wired connection in order to make that work. So this will allow you to just dump the files directly to a USB drive instead instead of going over the network so that you can back up the game files of your PS5 games. Now, it does not decrypt the executables, so it's not like the PS4 app dumper in that sense. You can't decrypt the executables and there's no way to turn them into fake package files and reinstall them onto the game yet. So we're still a long ways off before any of that stuff happens, but this is just another step in the right direction. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this anyway. So I'll leave this source link here in the description, but Logic68 has released payloads for all the different firmware versions, uh, pre-compiled payloads in this zip file right here. So if we go in here, you can see we've got the ELF files for all the different firmware versions. And we wanna go ahead and grab the one for our firmware version. So I'm on 4.03 on my PS5. So I'm gonna copy that ELF file over to my desktop. So what we need is a USB storage device that has enough space on it in order to fit the whole contents of the PS5 game that you're dumping. So you need to make sure you've got that. So I've got a USB drive here. So if I right click and go to properties, you need to make sure that the file system of your drive is XFAT format. If it's any other format, you'll have to reformat the drive by backing up any data on it and then right clicking and going to format. And of course, selecting XFAT as the file system. If you don't have XFAT as an option and you only have FAT32, it's probably because your USB drive is 32 gigs or less, which probably isn't really enough space for most PS5 games that you're trying to dump anyway. So you should look for a larger drive. So as you can see there, we've got our USB drive in XFAT format. And then once you've done that, you can then eject the drive and plug it into the PS5. Now make sure you're plugging it into one of the back USB ports. There's two USB ports at the back that are USB 3. And then there's one USB port at the front, which I think is just a USB 2, which is obviously going to be a lot slower when it comes to read and write speeds. So you want to make sure you're plugging it into one of the higher speed USB ports at the back. That way you get higher transfer rates when dumping the contents of your game. So make sure you plug it into one of those ports at the back and then you should be good to go. Okay, so I'm going to dump Demon Souls as an example here. So I've got the disc in. We're going to go ahead and run it right here. And we'll update later. Don't want to install a system update. So yeah, of course, in order to be able to dump the game, you do have to run it because running it is how you actually get access to the game files because they get loaded into the sandbox directory when the game is actually running. Otherwise, when the game's not running, all you'll be able to access is the package file for the game and not the individual game files themselves. So we'll skip this cutscene here and just get to the start screen or the main menu. So just like on the PS4, if you're dumping a game, you just want to get to the main menu or the start screen and then head back out to the home screen. And then from there, we can just load up our uh, exploit host. So we'll just go ahead and load up Spectre's exploit here using Echo Stretch's 7-in-1 host. Obviously, you can use any other site that's hosting the exploit. Okay, there we go. So once it gets to stage 6 elf loader, we can then switch back over here to the computer and load up our payload injector like Netcat GUI, drag the payload inside. And then, of course, we want the PS5's IP address entered here in the host box. Port number is 9020. And then we can hit inject payload. And if we switch back over here, you can see that it says executing right there. So one thing I've noticed is it does take quite a while here after you first load the payload before you get any kind of indication that the payload is actually running, before you actually see any notifications showing up uh, on the screen. So it's already been about, I don't know, a minute probably by now since I actually loaded the payload. I skipped ahead a little bit and it still hasn't come up with any notifications yet. And I'm not frozen, the mouse is still working. So 
yeah, it, it takes a while. It takes a couple of minutes, it seems, before you get any indication that the payload is actually running. There we go. Finally, we have welcome to PFS MNT dumper version 1.00 B. And now you can see it has detected Demon Souls PPSA 01341. And it's only detected the app zero. And that is because this Demon Souls copy does not have a game update installed. If it did have a game update installed, it would dump the game update as well as the game. So you can see there, we're now copying the contents of App Zero to our USB drive. And I have the USB plugged into the back USB ports, so it shouldn't take too long, even though this is a pretty large game. Now, sometimes the percentage can kind of glitch out and go way higher than 100%. Sometimes it goes to like 4,000% or 400 plus percent uh, with the notifications but that doesn't necessarily mean that there's a problem. A lot of the time it will be fine. You just leave it until it finishes. You'll know once it's done when you stop getting these notifications every so often. And obviously if you have a little LED on your USB drive that flashes when data has been written to the drive, once that stops uh, for a long period of time, that usually means it's finished. So that's a couple of ways that you can tell when it's done. Now there is one issue with this that unfortunately kind of makes dumping through FTP make more sense in a lot of cases. And that is the fact that this unfortunately has the same problem with language files. So if you followed my video that I made about dumping the game files through FTP, then you might remember that there was an issue with the language files where games that supported multiple languages uh, would only load the game file for the language that your PS5 is actually set to. So all the other language files would be inaccessible and if you tried to copy them it would kind of crash FTP. You could reconnect but then you wouldn't be able to access the folder where that file was contained. You would get like an access denied message or something like that. And this payload has the same problem. So if the game has any other language files on it besides the language that your PS5 is set to then when the dumper comes to trying to copy that file it will get stuck just like FTP gets stuck with the same issue. And that is something that's a pretty big problem for this payload, which will hopefully be fixed at some point, because unfortunately, there's no way to select, you know, what language files you want to copy. It will just copy, it will just try and copy all the files that are there in that folder. So if there is any language files for other languages, it's going to get stuck in a loop and never going to be able to continue. And you're not going to be able to get a good dump of your game in that way. In which case, you'll have to use FTP, where you can at least deselect the language files for other languages so that you can get a good copy of the whole game, all the game files, apart from those other languages. So yeah, that's unfortunate. That's something that will hopefully be fixed. I did try this with Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart to test this, which does have files for other languages. And unfortunately, it did indeed get stuck as soon as it tried to copy one of the sound bank files for another language. It just got stuck in a loop. And uh, I left it for a few hours just to see. And it, it was just in a loop, giving the same notification over and over again. So the dumper is basically useless right now for any game that has other language files on there, which is a lot of PS5 games, unfortunately. So in that case, you'll have to use FTP to dump the game instead. That way you can deselect those other language files and just copy the English version or the version that pertains to your language. So yeah, that is a bit unfortunate. Okay, so I've plugged the USB drive back into the computer. So if we take a look here, you can see we do have our dumped files right here. We've got our PPSA01341, which is the title ID of Demon Souls. So we've got our app zero directory because we don't have an update installed. If we did have an update installed, we would also have another folder in here, which has the dash patch zero. So it'd be an app zero and a patch zero folder if you have a game update installed. But without a game update, you just get the patch zero folder, which contains your main game. So if we take a look here, you can see it has dumped all of the files here for the game. Quite a lot of stuff here. We've also got the SCE system with our keystone file in there. We've got our SCE modules, our PRX files, sound files, all kinds of other stuff here, models, textures, everything has been dumped. And of course we have our eboot.bin, which is the main game executable. If we throw that into a hex editor, you can see that unfortunately, this payload is not advanced to the point of being able to actually decrypt any of these executables. So you can see the executable is indeed still encrypted. So all it's done is copied it to the USB. It hasn't done any kind of decryption like the PS4 version of the dumper, which actually does decrypt the executables. But as you can see, that does not happen here with the PS5 version, at least not yet. So 
that's all we've got right there. So anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Just a quick one here on a new payload for dumping game files to a USB. Hopefully the issue surrounding other language files could be addressed at some point in a future update to make this more useful. And uh, again, the only reason why people would want to do this is just to have a backup of their games or a backup of their game files or to be able to kind of just have access to the game files to look through them, to look for various hidden stuff uh, that you might find out through looking through the game files. So that's really the only benefit to doing this right now, just to have a backup of the files. But uh, yeah, we can't run them yet on the PS5, but hopefully we will be able to do that at some point in the future. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video.